Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, yes. teachers. Yes. Okay, great. Happy to see you. How are you? Is everything okay? Not talking today. All right, no problem. Okay, let's do this. Um, okay. <laughs> thank you. All right, let's begin. Um, just let me get things ready here. Just need to minimize some windows. This one. Okay. Right here. And also, just give me a moment. Here we go. Oops. Okay. I'm going to share the screen with you now with the sound. All right, everybody, let's do this. So um, first things first, I need to call your names. Here's the attendance calling. Let's do this. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Gladys Imelda Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Yasmin Vanessa. Is Yasmin Vanessa here tonight? Jose Luis Hernandez Flores. Here. Thank you. Josue Isaías Najarro. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo. Garcia. Present. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enríquez Herrera. Luis Fernando Enríquez Herrera. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Hello teacher. Okay, thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguia. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Just uh, just in case some of you are joining the class, let me call one more time. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present. Thank you. And Walter René Quintanilla González. Okay, then. let's begin. Everybody, be welcome. This is Inglés Pre Avanzado Modulo 2. This is me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. And this is session number seven. And today is January the 26th, 2023. Okay, so be welcome once again. So, what are we going to do? 
Okay, we had a big grammar topic we were studying yesterday, and that was would rather and would prefer to. So first, we're going to have a review, and then we're going to solve some exercises. Okay, so let's take a look. This is the okay. same thing we, uh, yes. I have a question. Yes. With um, metan exam, uh, literal B, um, B. Midterm exam. C, B, E, B. Okay, let me check. Midterm exam. Part B, complete the sentences. C, sí. B, okay. E, N, D. B, N, D, sí. writing sentences. Okay, we're yeah. going to check that. Um, we can check it together, no problem, but that's part of tomorrow's class because um, Today we have to, well, we're not going to complete the unit. I mean, the, the, the section today, we're going to do some exercises and we're going to try to advance as much as we can. But this part is for tomorrow. We're going to uh, solve it tomorrow, okay? So my advice is try to complete everything you can. And anyway, your baby. <laughs> and anyway, tomorrow in class, we're going to solve the the midterm together okay so any questions that you may have about the midterm we're going to clarify them okay all right okay i promise i promise like a boy scout all right so well um what do we have here would prefer take a look i prefer so this is the same thing we studied yesterday basically today we have to review it so we use would prefer to say what somebody wants in a specific situa situation, okay? So not in general, it's a specific situation. Example, would you prefer tea or coffee? You say coffee, please. Now, it's not the same if you ask, do you prefer tea to coffee? That's a different question. That means in general. So if I ask, I'm going to ask a person here randomly, uh, Sandra Cecilia, Sandra Cecilia, I see you're, you're drinking something. Is that coffee or soda? I'm sorry? Soda. It's soda. Ah, okay. All right. I'm going to ask you then. Um, do you prefer um, coffee to soda? Or do you prefer, I prefer soda? I, I prefer drink, to drink soda. Okay, you, you prefer to drink soda. Okay, so that's general. You say, I prefer, that's general. I prefer to drink soda. But then when you use would, we're talking about a specific situation. Okay, so two different things. Maybe you drink soda a lot. You drink soda every day. You drink, probably not every day, but you drink soda often. But one day, you don't want to drink soda. You want to, you know, have a coffee on that specific day. So somebody asks you, would you prefer soda to coffee? Soda, sorry, or coffee? And then you say, coffee, please, in this particular occasion, okay? So when we use would and prefer, and when we use would rather, we're talking about a preference in a specific situation, not in a general situation, okay? So that's something to consider. So would you prefer tea or coffee? Imagine that you come to my house and I tell you, okay, I have coffee and I have tea. So would you prefer tea or coffee? Maybe some of you will tell me, oh, I would prefer tea, teacher. Some others will say, no, teacher, I would prefer coffee. No problem, okay? We're talking about preferences in a very specific or particular situation. Now, we say, would you prefer to do something? Always remember, when you're using a verb after prefer, you have to use the to infinitive form of that verb. Okay, would you prefer to do something? That's the way. Shall we go by train? You say, mm, I'd prefer to drive. Okay, I'd prefer to stay at home. 
sorry, to stay at home tonight rather than go to the cinema. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part is would rather. Now, what's would rather? It's the same. It's basically the same idea. The structure is a little bit different, but just a little bit. They're saying, would you like to sit here with us? And little George says, no, thanks. I'd rather sit on the floor. Okay. So George likes to sit on the floor. He doesn't want to sit on the couch. So he says, I'd rather sit on the floor. That means I would prefer to sit on the floor. I'd rather means I would rather. It's the contracted form. So I'd rather means I would rather. I'd rather do something means I would prefer to do it. We say I'd rather do. After rather, you have to use the base form of the verb, not the to infinitive. Okay, that will be a mistake. You don't say I would rather to do something. That's incorrect. Don't do it. So you have an example. Well, two examples. Shall we go by train? No vamos en tren. Shall we go by train? And then you say, I'd rather drive. Or I'd prefer to drive. Just remember, when you use rather, the verb that follows is in base form. When you use prefer, the verb that follows is in to infinitive form. In other words, you have to use to. Which would you rather do? Go to the cinema or go shopping? Same idea if you ask, which would you prefer to do? Go to the cinema or go shopping? Now, the negative is, I'd rather not. You just have to add not after rather. You say, for example, I'm tired. I would rather, sorry, I'd rather not go out this evening if you don't mind. Do you want to go out this evening? You can say, I'd rather not. We also say, I'd rather do one thing than do another. This is when you are comparing your two options. I'd rather do one thing than do another. Example, I'd rather stay at home tonight than go to the cinema. Okay, nothing new. It's the same thing we studied yesterday. So what are we going to do here? I want you to complete the sentences. Sometimes you need to add one word, sometimes more. It's a conversation. So the first one is, shall we walk home? And the other person says, I'd rather get a taxi. Okay, how do you know it's rather? Because it's not a two infinitive form, it's a base form. So you say, I'd rather get a taxi. What about number two? Do you want to eat now? I'd prefer, but now you have the verb prefer. So I'd prefer to wait until later. So that's the idea. Now, how exactly are you going to do this? I want you to work in some breakout rooms now. There are 19 people. So we're going to form the breakout rooms and I want you to work together to you know, generate the ideas to solve this exercise. I'm going to be visiting the breakout rooms one by one, and I'm going to help you as much as I can. But I cannot stay very long because I have to go and visit every group. So let's see. We're going to create, let's see, five breakout rooms, okay? In the five breakout rooms, okay, uh, we will have three to four participants. So everybody uh, pay close attention to this. Room one, We'll have Gabriel Estefani Cortez, Luis Fernando Enriquez, Manuel Aristi de Murcia, and Rosa Esmeralda Hernandez. Room two, we'll have Astrid Michelle Flores, <clears throat> Ever de Jesús Candray, Gladys Imelda Sánchez, and Yasmín Vanessa Sosa. Room three, Claudia Yanet Tiraeta, Olivia Osorio, Paola María Alvarado, and Walter Rene Quintanilla. Room four, we'll have Carlos Alfredo Ramos, Josué Isaías Najarro, Lilian Estela Portillo, and Sandra Cecilia Munguía. And in room five, we'll have Alejandra Magaña, Jose Luis Hernández, 
and Jenny Sanchez. Okay, so I'm going to form the breakout rooms now. And remember, I'm going to be sharing the exercise via WhatsApp in the group so you can have access to it. The thing is, as you know, when I visit the breakout rooms, I stop sharing the screen. That's automatic. So there's nothing I can do about it. So um, I'm going to be sharing this via WhatsApp. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Everybody, please join your group. See you on the other side. So I think we were going to start with the uh, number three. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Would you like to watch TV? I prefer to listen to some music. That sounds good. Number four, do you want to go to a restaurant? I. Uh, but, but what's just one thing, Luis, before we continue? Uh, but what about the rest? You're working together. Only Luis is speaking. Okay. <laughs> no, that's the idea. Remember, when you're working in the breakout room, the thing is, um, you have to work together. I mean, let's let's talk. Let's communicate. That's the thing. Communicate. It's a, you know, it's a private group. So. Please communicate. I want you to, to all of you, I want you to cooperate to do this activity. Okay, please continue. Okay. I'm going to visit another breakout room. Okay, but right. please work I, together. Teacher, yes, yes. I'd rather. Just, just one thing. Yes. I, I couldn't could hear the, 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 when you check the list. Ah, uh, okay. Luis Fernando, let's see. Um, Luis Fernando, okay. I've taken the attendance. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, all right. I'm going to uh, go into another room. So please, everybody, continue. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> what are you doing outside your group? The microphone. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ho, ho, because I got out the meeting. Ah, okay. Know. All right. I just added you to room uh, room five, please. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Right. Wait a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, number six. What about a game of tennis? I prefer to 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 go for for a swim. Or... I prefer to go. I guess mm -hmm. no for a swim. Mm. I prefer to go for a swim. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You can Thank say you, that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, okay. I'm going to visit another room now. See you later. See you. Go for. No, me suena bien. 
Sí, no. Es... Bueno, el teacher nos va a ayudar. Ah. Tenemos duda en okay. seis ah. teachers. Uf. Yes. <laughs> okay. Number six. What do you Number have? Six. What about a, a game of tennis? I prefer Two? to go for a swing. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> okay. En la que no le suena es la correcta. <laughs> okay. Teníamos um. duda. <laughs> Sabíamos que nos faltaba el verbo, el to y un verbo. I prefer to go for a swim. Yeah, that's good. I prefer to go for a swim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number, number eight. Number eight. Would you like to seven. sit down? Seven. Is it seven, seven, seven. or eight? Okay, seven. I think we should design up. I... I prefer... To think about it for a while. Yeah, I would prefer to think about it for a while. You can also say, I'd rather think about it for a while. Podría ser cualquiera de los dos. Solo que si va rather, no hay que ponerle to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eso sería lo único en que serían diferentes. Okay, I'm going to jump into a different group now. Please continue the exercise and see you later. Thank see you. you. Later. To the other room. <laughs> and number Namaz seven. Namaz seven Lily. Hmm? Teacher, we have problem with the number six. Number we, six. Uh, yeah, we, e we everybody don't know is having which, uh -huh. which word can would be in that. But I imagine that you have some um, you have some ideas. I prefer yeah, uh -huh. I prefer to play for a swim. To play for a swim. No, it's not the verb play, it's a different verb. Mm -hmm. Two letters. Two letters. Go. Yes. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I prefer okay. to go for a swim. Mm, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. okay. Continue with the number six. Josue. Uh, that, that was number six. Seven. 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 Number seven. Sorry. Seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. Okay. I think we should decide now. I rather think about about it for a while. Mm -hmm. I'd rather think about it for a while. You can also say I would prefer to think about it for a while. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Okay. Please continue. I have to go uh, to another room now. See you okay. later. Bye. The next. Hey, wait a second. I've been here before. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am in the wrong group. <laughs> I would prefer to talk. To talk about it rather than than what? For a while. Teacher, hi. What's the meaning of while? About for a while, por un yes. por un tiempo, por un momento. Uh, mm -hmm. So in number I seven, think. for example, I think we should decide now. I'd rather think about it for a while. Se preferiría ah. pensarlo un momento. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or maybe I would prefer to stay alone about for a while. 
I'll prefer to stay alone. You can say, I'll prefer to stay alone for a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd prefer to stay alone for a while. Yeah, you can say that. Do you want some company? Uh, no, no, I'd prefer to stay at you know alone for a while. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe a okay. different in a different occasion. <laughs> okay. Very good. So have you finished? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm going to um end the brick of rooms now. I'm going to close them and then after a minute we'll all uh go back to the main meeting. So see you in a minute. Okay. Bye. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breaker rooms now. Um, I will see you in one minute. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds. We're just waiting for the rest to join us. Fifteen seconds. Okay, everybody's back now. So let's let's do this exercise together. Complete the sentences. Sometimes you need one word, sometimes more. So shall we walk home? I'd rather get a taxi. Do you want to eat now? I'd prefer to wait until later. I need a volunteer for number three. Remember to raise your hand, raise your virtual hand. Who wants to try? Alejandra Magaña, would you like to watch TV? I would prefer to listen to some music. Okay, I'd prefer to listen to some music. That is correct. Thank you very much. What about number four? Jasmine, Vanessa, do you want to go to a restaurant? I rate stay at home. I'd rather stay at home. Okay, good. I'd rather eat at home, I'd rather stay at home. You know, we have more than one option. That is correct. Thank you, Jasmine. Josue Isaias, number five. Let's go now. I'd rather wait a, wait a few minutes. I'd rather wait a few minutes. You can say, I'd rather wait, or I'd prefer to wait. Okay, so that is correct. Thank you, Josue. Uh, number six, volunteer. Jasmine, I don't know if you want to participate again or... Your, your hand is up. Tiene la manita levantada. Okay, Sandra Cecilia. What about a game of tennis? I prefer to go for I prefer to go for a swim. Okay, that's right. I'd prefer to go for a swim. Very good. Number seven, Rosa Esmeralda. I have a question. Uh... You have a question, okay. And the question what about, about a game of TV? Uh, request I the preference to play for team. Which one? Which number is that? Um, six. Number okay. six. Yeah. What about a game of tennis? Six. Uh huh. You have. I prefer to play. It. To play for a swim? Mm -hmm. No, not possible. Because you use you use the verb uh, swim. Sorry, you use the verb play for games, and swimming uh, it's not a game. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. It's more of a physical activity, an exercise, technically. So you can use 
play, you know, with basketball, with soccer, with baseball, volleyball, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. But when you talk about swimming, no, okay? Even if you are in a competition, it's not exactly a game. It's more like a competition. So what about a game of tennis? You say, I'd prefer to go for a swim. You go for a swim. You can also, let me see. There are some others. You can go for a swim. You can go for a walk also. Um, what else can you do? Oh, that's all I can think about right now. <laughs> but yeah, you can go for a swim. You can also go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Some physical activities right there. Okay, so um, what about number seven? Who wants to participate? Number seven. Nobody wants to participate. Come on. Luis Fernando, I think we should decide now. I, th I think we should decide now. I prefer to think about, about it for a while. I have prefer to think about it for a while. You can also say, I'd rather think about it for a while. Very good. Thank you, Luis Fernando. Number eight, volunteers. Lilian Estela, would you like to sit down? I prefer to stand. I'd prefer to stand. Okay, that is correct. Thank you, Lilian. And number nine, I need a volunteer. Please raise your hand. Who wants to try? Rosa Esmeralda, do you I, want do you want me to come with you? I rather stay alone. I'd rather stay alone. Yeah. Maybe I'd rather be alone sounds better. But in this case, uh, do you want me to come with you? I think there is a better verb. Okay, there's a better verb than this. I mean, it sounds logical and it's grammatically correct, but there, there is a verb that sounds better. What is that? Walter René. Rather, I'd rather uh, go alone. I'd rather go alone. Yeah, it's more like it. Okay, good. So now we're going to do this. Now use the same ideas to complete these sentences using then and rather than. Example, this is with number one. Number one is, shall we walk home? I'd rather get a taxi. So I'd rather get a taxi than wait for a bus. Okay, I'll wait for a bus. I think I made a mistake here. Should be actually then. I don't know why I wrote that. Walk home. Okay. So, should go like this. I apologize. I made a mistake. I'd rather get a taxi than walk home. That's better. What about number three? Who wants to help me? That was an example. What about number three? Number three is, would you like to watch TV? And the other person says, I'd prefer to listen to some music. So what do we have here? Jenny Sanchez. I would rather listen to some music than read a book. Than read a book. Well. It's possible, but the conversation goes, would you like to watch TV? You say, I'd prefer to listen to some music. So I'd rather listen to some music than, what is the other part? Using the same information, right? In the conversation, they ask, would you like to watch TV? And the other person says, I'd prefer to listen to some music. So I'd rather listen to some music than watch TV. Then, then, watch, watch, TV. then watch TV. That's right. Then watch TV. Uh -huh. That's the idea. Uh, okay. okay, everybody. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jenny. What about number four? Lillian, do you want to go to a restaurant? And the person said, I'd rather eat at home or I'd rather stay at home. So what about number four? I I prefer to stay 
at home than go to the restaurant. Then go to a restaurant. Okay. Normally, when uh, we use I'd prefer and then you make a comparison, you have to use rather than. That's another one. So you say I'd prefer to eat at home or to stay at home rather than go to a mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number six. Who wants to try? Number six. Who wants to give it a try? Alejandra Magaña. Number six goes, what about a game of tennis? Uh, I'd prefer uh, to go for a swim. Yeah. I'd rather go for a swim than a game of tennis. Then you need a verb. And go to the game of tennis. Then go to a game of tennis. Okay. Uh, but you, you are not going to the game. Uh, you're talking about playing the game of tennis. So I'd rather go for a swim than. Play tennis. Than play tennis. Okay. It's more like it. I'd rather go for a swim than play tennis or than have a game of tennis. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that was Jasmine. Okay. And Alejandra also. Thank you very much. What about number seven? Who wants to try? It's, I think we should decide now. And the other person says, sorry, I had some tacos before the class. So I'd rather think about it for a while. So Jose Luis. I prefer think about it for a while rather than uh, should decide now or only decide now. <laughs> then decide now. Okay, but okay, that's good. Rather than decide now. But what about the first part? I'd prefer. I prefer to think about it mm -hmm. for a while. To think about it for a while rather than decide now. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Jose Luis. Very nice. Now, um, that was practice. Now we have to do the knowledge check 3.4. That's, that's in the platform. Okay, so this exercise is basically in the platform. So complete the conversations with would and the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses. Then practice with a partner. So in the first one, blah, 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 you prefer blah, 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 a course in exercise science or nutritional science. And then you have take, okay? I prefer blah, blah, blah for a nutritional science course because it's more useful for me in nursing. So you have register. So I need two volunteers for the first one. I want somebody to read part A and another person to read part B. Who can help me? Olivia Osorio, you read part A and I want someone else, please. Another participant, another volunteer. Jasmine Vanessa. And then Walter René, you go for number two, A, and then someone else with two B. Okay, but thank you. Tengan la manita levantada, si no se me olvida, quien sigue. Okay. Olivia Osorio, letter A, please. One A. Um, al inicio hay que usar, uh, perdón, hay que agregar with word. Habría que ocupar would. Uh, would. Would y el verbo que okay. está en paréntesis. Would you prefer take a course in exercise science or not? Nutritional science. Nutritional science, but take a look. Prefer. After prefer, you have to use two infinitive forms. So, would you prefer? Thinking. Mm -mm. Two infinitive. You have to use two and the verb. To take. To take. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rosa told us, okay, would you prefer to take a course in exercise science or nutritional science. Okay, thank you, Olivia, and thank you, Rosa. Jasmine, Vanessa, letter B. I prefer to register for a nutritional science course mm -hmm. because it's more useful for me 
in nursing. Okay, yeah. I prefer to register for a nutritional science course because it's more useful for me in nursing. Okay, very good. All right, thank you, uh, Jasmine. Walter René and Carlos Alfredo, okay. Walter René, you take A to A and Carlos Alfredo to B. Okay. Could you rather learn English in Australia or Canada? Mm -hmm. Carlos Alfredo? Okay, I think I prefer to study in Australia because it's warmer there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Both correct. Would you rather learn English in Australia or Canada? B, I think I'd prefer to study in Australia because it's warmer there. Well, but Australia is very hot, okay? And Canada is very cold. So, Rosa Esmeralda, uh, do you have a question or do you want to go for number three? Okay. Number three, three, three A, okay. Mm -hmm. And Lilian Estela, three B. Okay, Rosa? Um, did you need to learn a new guide? Skill. It's good. Um, I tend to prefer. Uh, take a look. No. You have to complete it with wood. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Is you? I need to learn a squat. A new skill. Would you prefer? Would you prefer? A chair, a glass, or a hat. Uh, a, a private, private tutor. A private tutor. Okay, so would you prefer? Uh, but take a look, Rosa. You have the verb prefer. After prefer, you have to use to. Prefer yes. to. Mm -hmm. um, attend. To attend. Prefer to attend a class or have a yes. private tutor. Okay. Thank you, Rosa. That is very good. Lilian Estela. I'd rather. Okay. I'd rather. I'd rather sign up. For a sign class, up. Sign up for a class than hire a tutor. Mm -hmm. Private. Private. That. Private, private tutors are too expensive. Private tutors are too expensive. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'd rather sign up for a class. Preferiría inscribirme a una clase, right? I'd rather sign up for a class than hire a tutor. Private tutors are too expensive. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Carlos Alfredo and Jose Luis. Carlos Alfredo, you're 4A and Jose Luis 4B. Okay. Would you rather join a church or, a, or an or an or Orchestra. Okay, just the pronunciation. Would you rather join a choir? That's the that's the pronunciation of this word. It's choir. So what's a choir? A choir is a group of people singing at the same time. When you go to church, for example, and you see there are people singing and clapping and everything. Normally, there is a choir, a specific group of people whose job is to sing together. That's a choir. So would you rather join a choir or an orchestra? And Jose Luis. I'd rather sing in a choir than play in an orchestra. I'd rather sing in a choir than play in an orchestra. Okay, thank you. And for the last one, we have Claudia Yanet and Sandra Cecilia. Claudia Yanet, you take A and Sandra Cecilia, you take B, please. Would you prefer uh, to major in broadcasting or film studies? Film studies. <clears throat> to a site. Mm -hmm. También part B. Uh, no, that's Sandra's part. Okay. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I prefer not to do anything. Not to I do either. Rather, 
-hmm. either, perdón. I rather work for a newspaper. I'd rather work for a newspaper. That is correct. Very good. Okay. That's the knowledge check. It's in the platform. So the same question, same answers, everybody. Okay, really good. Before we continue, it's 846. Uh, they told me to give you a, a message. Okay. Me dijeron que le diera un mensajito acá, ¿verdad? Nada más, eh, se les recuerda que el día de mañana tenemos clase. Como la primera semana no hubo clase el lunes ni el martes, entonces esos dos días los estamos reponiendo los viernes. Así que el día de mañana tenemos clase, ¿verdad? No es, no es, no es libre, hay una clase. Eso es lo primero. Segundo, que vayan avanzando en la plataforma, de acuerdo a lo que vamos. Por ahí me preguntaban, ¿verdad? Sobre el, el, el midterm. El midterm, eh, muy bien, la pregunta, pregunta válida, no hay ningún problema, pero ese lo vamos a resolver mañana. Es decir, vamos a terminar la unidad y vamos a resolver el midterm aprovechando. ¿Ok? Y lo vamos a hacer aquí todos juntos para sí, que a nadie bien. le quede ninguna duda. Eh, sí, sí. dígame. En la, en la solución de este ejercicio en la plataforma, ¿será que solo tenemos que poner el verbo? Déjeme Porque ver. yo puse toda la... La pino rojo, ¿no? La oración. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Y no, no me la acepta. 3.4. Just the verb. Let me see. Only the verb. That means you have to use only the verb. The base form or the two infinitive form. Solo hay que poner el verbo con two or sin two. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Only that. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay. Y lo tercero que me dijeron que les comentara o que les recordara, verdad, que envíen el comprobante de entrega del manual educativo. Ok. Ahora, para serles honestos, no estoy muy seguro qué significa eso. Ustedes saben mejor que yo, porque yo doy la clase, <ríe> pero de ahí no sé más. Ok. Así que, bueno, ahí está. Esas, esas son las indicaciones que me pidieron que, que les recordara. Ok, let's go back. So, um, we have some extra practice right here. Write questions with would rather or would prefer using the cues. You have take a science class, an art class. Ah, this is extra. This is not in the material. This is not in the manual. This is not in the platform. So would you rather take a science class or an art class? Or alternatively, you can ask, would you prefer to take a science class or an art class? So. Let's do this exercise together. Number two, study part-time, full-time. Who wants to try? Following the example. Jose Luis. Would you rather study part-time? Or, or study full-time? Or full-time only. Would you rather study, sorry. Would you rather study part-time or full-time? Good. And um, how can you ask this using the verb prefer? Would you prefer to study part-time mm -hmm. or full-time? Would you prefer to study part-time or full-time? That is correct, okay? Now I'm asking you, Jose Luis, would you rather study part-time or full-time? I prefer to study full-time, but I work and I can't. <laughs> so you have no options, okay? You, you have to study part-time if you, if you take, a, take up a course. Okay, thank you, Jose Luis. Number three. Raise your hand, please. Who wants to try? Carlos Alfredo and then Luis Fernando. Okay. And then uh, Astrid Michelle, you go for the next exercise, I promise. Okay, but just remind me. Okay, Carlos Alfredo, 
have a boring job that pays okay. well, an exciting job that pays less. Uh, would you would you um, would you rather have a boring job that pays well or an exciting job that pays less? Correct. Alternatively, how can you ask this question? Um, the next. Um, you seem prefer. Would you prefer, mm -hmm. would you, would you prefer to have a boring job that pays well or an exciting job that pays, that pays less? Correct. Now, Carlos Alfredo, let me ask you. Would you rather have a boring job that pays well or an exciting job that pays less? In my case, I, I prefer to, to have an exciting job that pays less. That pay okay, all right. Okay, sounds good, I sounds good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, money is good, but also it's good to feel, you know, to feel satisfied with your job. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Number four, Luis Fernando. Take a long vacation once a year, several short vacations each year. Would you prefer to take a long vacation once a year or several short vacations each year? Good. How can you ask this question alternatively? Would you rather take a long vacation once a year or several short vacations each year? Absolutely. So, Luis Fernando, would you rather take a long vacation once a year or several short vacations each year? I uh, would uh, prefer several short vacations each year. Yeah, me too. Okay. That's how I do it. I, I, I usually split my vacations and I take yes. several short vacations each year, just like say three days, then four days or a week. And then I split yeah. it. I think it's, it's better. better. Uh -huh. it's better. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, Luis Fernando. That was good. Very good. Okay. So what's next? Uh, we have a listening activity. Just give me a second. So uh, that was the end of the extra practice. Now we have uh, section 3.5. It's the listening part. So what are we going to do? Listening just for fun. Listen to three people talk about part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? So you have three people, Linda, Rich, and Wang. So what course? each person took. You have to write the name of the course and you have to tell me also what each person learned. Okay. What exactly did they learn in each of the courses? So I'm going to play the track twice. I want you to pay close attention, take, take notes, you know, on what you hear, and then we're going to check answers together. All right. Let's begin. Let me know if you can hear it. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. Can you hear that? Yes. Okay, thank yes. you. All right, I'm going to play it. Remember, I'll play it twice. What course did each person take? Take notes. One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Two. Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, 
It was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? <laughs> Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay, we're going to listen to it a second time. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait. Why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting, and it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Two, Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay, let's check answers. <clears throat> Linda, oh, wait a second, just let me check animations. Okay, we're going to check the first column first and the second column after that. So, Linda, what course did Linda take? Sandra Cecilia and then Gladys Imelda. African dance and samba. African dance and samba, that's correct, thank you. Gladys, what about Rich? What course did Rich take? Uh, microphone. Vegetarian cooking. Vegetarian cooking. That is correct. Very good. And the third one wants to participate. What about when? What course did Wang take? Any ideas? Jasmine, Vanessa. 
uh, how to run a small business course. How to run a small business. Very good. Okay, now I want you to help me with what each person learned. Let's do this, okay? We're just, we're just going to uh, check this exercise and after that, we'll finish the class. So what did Linda learn in her African dance and samba course? Gladys. She learned more to be more confident and interact with other people. Okay. She learned how to be more confident and interact better with people. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Gladys. What did Rich learn in his vegetarian cooking course? Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Sandra Cecilia. Uh, the health value of different kinds of vegetables. Okay, the health value of foods or different types of foods, vegetarian foods in particular. Thank you, Sandra. Very good. And number six, what did Wen learn in her uh, running a small business course? What did she learn? Anybody? Gladys. Uh, something like finance, investing, and management money, something like that. Investing and managing money. Yeah, that is correct. That's what she learned. Very good, everybody. Okay, I'm just going to call the attendance list one more time and we're going to finish this class. Uh, let's see, Carlos Alfredo Ramos, are you here? Yes. You are here. I just saw you. Jasmine Vanessa, también aquí está. Okay. Here. Thank you. And Walter René Quintanilla. Here, teacher. Okay. Full house today. Very good. Okay. Um, again, just remember. Solo recordemos, ¿verdad? Mañana hay clase. Acordémonos. Hay clase. No, no va a ser libre. Tenemos clase. Hay que avanzar en la plataforma. Por favor, todos vayan avanzando en la plataforma. Y por favor, manden el comprobante de entrega del manual educativo. Ustedes saben ahí qué es eso. Así que, por favor, eh, pongámonos ahí las pilas con todo eso para no atrasarnos. Y mañana terminamos esta sección y vamos a resolver juntos todos el, el, uh, el midterm. Ok, así que cualquier duda que pueda surgir, mañana la vamos a clarificar. Ok, everybody, thank you for your participation, thank you for your attendance, and thank you for your patience. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.